Okay, so welcome back to this fifth video in this series of SPSS tutorials brought to you by SportsSoundsTutor.com. In the fourth tutorial, we looked at how to run a regression analysis in SPSS, and we're going to expand on the topic of regression in today's tutorial. To recap, regression analysis is essentially a statistical tool for the investigation of relationships between variables. And if those relationships are strong enough, then we can develop a regression equation which allows us to predict the value for one variable based upon the value for another variable. And in the previous tutorial, we focused on simple linear regression, whereby we were trying to predict the value for our dependent variable based on the value of just one independent variable. But if we were using two or more independent variables in order to try and predict our dependent variable, then we would need to develop a multiple regression equation. As it was, the equation that we developed in, for our simple linear regression was structured as follows, y equals bx plus a. So y is the dependent variable, which in this case was sprint performance, and b is the slope of the line. In other words, how much does y change for each one unit change in x, with x being our independent variable, which was squat strength. And then the final aspect of this equation was a, which is a constant, and this equals the value of the dependent variable when the value of the independent variable is zero. And in order to get the values uh, for b and a to insert into this equation, we required uh, we were required to place our data into SPSS and run a regression analysis. And the subsequent output provided us with this coefficients table. And if we look in this table um, under unstandardized coefficients, we can see that we have a value for our constant, which is thirteen point eight two two. So all we need to do is place that value into this equation in place of a, and the value underneath represents the slope of the line. So minus 0 0.017 needs to be placed into the equation instead of b. And then all we need to do is insert an individual squat score, their one repetition max for the squat, and we can start to predict an individual's level of performance in the 100 meter sprint. Just remember that the data we used in that previous tutorial was fictitious data, so don't start using this equation to predict an individual's level of performance in the 100 meter sprint, because it's probably probably not going to work very well. There are, however, numerous examples of prediction equations that are based upon real data, which you can find in various uh, research journals. And one area that's been investigated extensively is power output. And there are numerous equations that have been developed to predict an individual's power output based upon their ability in the vertical jump exercise. I guess you might be wondering why that so many different equations exist. Is there surely not just one best equation that we can use to predict an athlete's level of power output capability? And the answer to that really is no. And the explanation for that is in the left-hand side of this table. You can see that different populations or different samples have been used in the different studies. Some samples were male only, other samples used males and females, others were female only, and the activity level varied as well. We might be looking at elite athletes or we might be looking at sedentary populations. And it's important to realize that regression equations developed with a particular sample often lose considerable accuracy when they are applied to other samples. So we need to be population specific with our equations. Um, that's an important thing to bear in mind when developing regression equations and when using these regression equations. The other thing you might notice is that these equations are a little bit more complex or there's a little bit more to them compared to the regression equation that we developed on the previous slide. The reason for this is because we're looking at an example of multiple regression here. 
in addition to using vertical jump height, which is represented as VJH, we're also using body mass, uh, represented as BM, in order to predict an individual's level of power output capability. Um, and so there are two independent variables being used in order to predict the value for our dependent variable. And so I guess it's important to have an understanding of how to structure a multiple regression equation versus how to structure a simple regression equation. So we've already looked at how the simple regression equation would be structured, y equals a plus bx, and to be honest, the multiple regression equation is very similar um, in structure, but obviously because we have numerous independent variables, or at least two independent variables, then it's going to be a slightly bigger equation. So for every independent variable we have, represented as x, we need to multiply that variable by the slope of the line uh, for that variable, which as you re will recall we can obtain from our SPSS output. Um, so hopefully that clarifies the difference between uh, simple regression and multiple regression, but if you do need any more help on the matter then you might want to take a look at Mentor on sportsciencetutor.com.